Hiya folks, it's been a while since we've been working on the cars. The ST's been off the road for a good few months now and um, I need to get it back road legal again, which means doing a little bit of work on it. Today, I'm going to be tackling the front brakes. It's got a bit of a vibration when you brake, so I've obviously got some new discs and pads to go on the front, so let's make a start. So, as you can see here, these aren't the standard ST220 discs on these and pads. These are off the, um, I think it's the Focus. The ST225, I think it is. This is a better type of setup, actually. So, um, as you can probably see, there's plenty of meat still on there. But I'm getting a, a vibration. As soon as you brake, you're getting a brrrr sort of noise through the, um, the steering column. And um, as I say, I've not messed about. I've just got new discs to go on it. So that means undoing these calipers here. There's a couple of sliding pins. I think if you pull these caps out there. There we go. I think we've got a, um, an Allen bolt in there. I'm not sure, I'll have to have a check of that. And there's one at the bottom, so we'll take them out first. That's the sliding pins, what the uh, inner pad slides onto. Right, so it turns out that's a seven mil Allen key. Let's try and undo that. There you go, it shouldn't be that tight actually. So there's one there, as you can see. And there's one under this cap here, there we go, and give that a good yank, there we go, as I say they shouldn't be that tight, as I say these are the slider pins which we're going to give a good clean to afterwards anyway, there we go, not too bad, there's a bit of rubbish on it but uh, we can clean that up afterwards. Just undo that top one again. There we go, and just pull them out. There you go. Yep, top one's got a bit of rubbish on it as well. Right, that's them two undone. Take that clip off the front now. Right, so now let's get these um, clips off at the front here. I think it's just a matter of prising this off. And if I go there, there's a clip at the back, you see, with a hole in it, you have to get it over that, that hole. There you go, it does shoot off, there's a hole there which holds it on. As you can see that little lug there fits in that hole there, so you have to pull it back further than that and that's that off. So now we should be able to manhandle the caliper off. I want to make sure I don't um, stretch this brake hose as well, so just to be careful of that folks when you're pulling these off. There we go. So let me just locate that. Just over the back here for the moment. Just sit in there because you can't take the disc off, you see, with that carrier on. So we're going to remove that carrier with them 15 mil bolts at the back. But before I do that, I'm just going to just pull the caliper, the pads out of the caliper there, as you can see. And not too bad, as I say, there's plenty of meat on them, but uh, they've been maintained before, as you can see. Someone's put copper slip on the back there, which is a uh, Something which isn't really necessary now, but uh, that's that one out. And then this one here just literally pops out as well. There we go. So that's the one, the other end. There we go. And these have got their own anti squeal plates built into them, folks, so you don't need to grease these at all. Anyway, let's get them out. I'm going to get the breaker bar on these because I can't find the impact gun. And let's get these a crack. They'll be pretty tight, which they are, but it's undone all right, though. These are normally thread locked on as well, these folks, so let's see if we can undo these. Here we go. Yep, that's that one. And that's that one. Right, so let's zip these out. Yeah, these are off the uh, Mark II Focus, folks, the ST225, if you're interested. They're only a single pot caliper, but... They are a lot more efficient than the uh, the original one on here. And I'm lucky enough to have had these on the car when I bought it, so... There we go, so that's the uh, holding bracket on for the caliper. Which means the old disc can now come off nice and easily. There you go, big old hefty weighty thing that. And as you can see, originally there's some blue thread lock on there, which we will be replacing once we've cleaned these bolts up. So I'm just going to take an opportunity just to have a little look around here just to make sure everything seems to be in order. 
There's no split gators there on the uh, drive shaft, which looks okay. Although it's a little bit uh, rusty on that shock absorber, but um, it's obviously not leaking at all, so I'll leave that for the moment. And uh, yeah, so I'll give this a good clean down with some brake cleaner, give it a bit of a wire brush, and uh, then just add a little bit of um, lubricant just onto the backside there in the way of some copper grease, just to help if the disc ever has to come off again, it won't get stuck. Right, so there's the old disc and there's a new disc I've actually measured them up put that one on top and it's exactly the same size so I'm just going to give this a bit of a clean up this one because it's got some grease residue on it with some brake cleaner and just give it a good wipe over front and back I've already done the back so uh, just leave this side to do and the pads are exactly the same you can see the different clips there uh, they're the same on that side and also that one there they're the same on that side so now I can reassemble all right, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of copper slip just around the underside where the disc meets the um, hub, not too much. And place this new disc, as you can see it is new, but if you look at the other side where it's been in storage, it's got a bit of surface rust on it which I've had to rub down. So, it just shows up, even when they're in storage you can get rusty discs. So again with this bracket, I was going to get all these powder coated and cleaned up and all that, but I haven't got the time to do that at the moment because I'm on a bit of a deadline. So um, I'm just going to give them a good clean up and I can do that at a later date. So as long as the channels and things are clear, that's all we're really concerned about at the moment. Now I've got these bolts just to give a bit of a wire brush to, the ones that hold the caliper on, just to get off any residue of the old uh, thread lock on it. There we go, there's that one. This one's got a bit more of the old white powder on it, corrosion powder. All right, let's get a bit of this thread lock. Don't want too much. And all I do is get the other bolt and just roll it around it. So you coat both sides without putting too much on. All right, okay, so let's get this bracket back on. And it goes behind there, just like that. And in with our 15 mil bolts. There's one in. Let's get the second one in. Nip them up with a breaker bar. Oh. There we go. That's them two in. Right, okay, so I've pushed the caliper back in. I have got a caliper rewind tool, but I was lucky enough to be able to just do that and push it back in with a pair of grips that way. But uh, that's in now, so let's put the back pad in. That's this one here with them big uh, things that sit inside the, the actual piston itself. And these are the two holes here where our pins slide up and down. So again, I need to get these and just give these a bit of a clean up. There we go, get the old wire brush on them and just get any old scum off of there or any old uh, dust that's embedded itself onto there. And then just get a bit of tissue paper just to, to wipe them because we're going to be putting these back in very shortly and as you can see that's a lot better now. Now you can, you can put a grease on these, silicone grease or whatever. Silicone grease would be ideal, or rubber grease, anything like that. So let's get these pins back in after I've cleaned the other one. So this second pad sits in the caliper body itself, and that just again clips in. There we go. Right, and then that can just make sure you get the orientation right. It's very easy to uh, get this wrong. So that sits on there like that. Can then get our pins in from the back and then feed them back into the holes and thread them back in and get that second one in and then we can just put these back in these one don't have to be uh thread locks in there we go 
Pass it on that. Pass that one done up. Get your two caps and just replace them. Stops any crap getting into them holes. There we go, that goes in there like that. And then you've got to get this clip back in. There we go. That's in. Very strong clips there. Just got to put this wheel on. The wheel is the thing that actually holds the disc into place when you tighten the, uh, the wheel nuts up. And that's that job done. we go folks that's that job done on one side I've got to do it all to the other side now you haven't got to see that it does take a hell of a lot longer when you're doing the filming because I've got to get all the different camera angles but um, in all honesty it's a simple job it's only two 7mm allen bolts two 15mm uh, bolts the obviously the wheel nuts got to come off and then you just lever it off the most difficult part could be pushing the caliper back but mine looks like it's had pretty new pistons in it. Whoever had the car before me has obviously refurbished the calipers because they look really shiny and chrome. And when they pushed in, they pushed in really, really easily. So um, can't really see anything other than that that can be a bit difficult on this job. Don't forget, this is still got the uprated calipers. I think the other ones are a lot smaller in the body size, but they are single pot calipers as well. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video now. I'm going to turn the car around, do the other bit. You haven't got to see that. But do check out my other... Mondeo ST220 playlist. There's other Mondeo Mark III videos in playlists as well, as, as well as nearly a thousand other videos, I think, if I remember rightly, on my channel. Anyway, thanks very much. I hope you've enjoyed this one. We're going to be doing a little bit of service soon on this one, just changing the oil and stuff, just to make sure it's uh, nice and fresh for me, Scotland trip in it. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. <laughs>